You gotta you gotta practice it. You gotta try to do it once. Now, yesterday we talked about being able to go from fractional, I call it fractional exponent, rational exponents to radical back and forth. You gotta be able to go back and forth. Remember my daughter, Powell over Woot. Powell over Woot. I don't know why, but it helps helps remember. It will. That worked out well for you. Didn't now. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, if I give you this, letter A, and I say, hey, give me the solution. Can you do it? Yeah. Yeah. You can rewrite it. The fourth root of 16. You're asking what times itself? Four times will give you 16. And everybody in the room knows that is two. Two. Okay? Oh. What if I put a three there? Then what does it become? Now, those of you that are normal would take that first, correct? And then raise it to a power of three. Those of you that are crazy, a little wound up, unique, would take 16 to the third power and then the fourth root. I... I, I can't do it. Yeah. So would it be a b plus or minus a two? Or? We'll we'll put the plus or minus when we're solving as an equation. Okay. When we're just finding the radical or the roots here, we'll keep it to our basics, positives and negatives. Okay. Now, what in the heck are we going to do here on b and c? Christian, said, what would you do if I said, hey, million dollars if you get this right? You would just sit there and not even take a chance on winning a million dollars. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> oh, you are kidding me. Good. I wouldn't know how to do it, Chloe. There is nothing to know how to do. Just think of my daughter. What does she say? <laughs> oh, yeah, power over root. Power over root. What's your base number here, Christensen? Four. What's your power? Three. What's your woot? Four. So don't ever lie to me again. You did perfect. <laughs> so, what did I say? Yesterday, I encouraged you to be able to go from fractional exponent to radical. Thank you for it. That's a great job. Good job of participation. Thanks, Radical fractional exponent. I know. <laughs> radical, 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 radical. Fractional exponent, fractional exponent, fractional exponent, fractional exponent, fractional exponent. Oh, it was coming. If you would have closed those eyes, it was coming. <laughs> How would I do this one then? Same way, fractional. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my gosh. Double D coming it up. That a boy. He said, that looks weird, Mr. Cully. That looks kind of weird. Who writes two fours? I said, double D. He said, could you reduce that? <laughs> He's right. Let's do it. So it becomes, and that is the proper way. What's another way of writing that? No! <laughs> How else could I write that? Come on. Square root of x. Yeah. Jordan. 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 Yes. 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 Power over. First power, root of two. It's the same. 
you got to be able to go back and forth. Back and forth. With them. These will help you pick up on the ladies. Please stay focused. Stay off Facebook and Twitter at this time. You can talk to them later. Okay. What's this going to be? Hunter, tell me. Good, good start. Yes. You're right, D. D's gone. That looks kind of weird also. Who would write five over four? Nobody. You are. Why so blue today? You're doing a great job. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, what in the heck am I going to do here? This is where... This is probably the most confusing thing, in my opinion, because it's improper. Everybody take a knee. It's improper. <laughs> Mandy Brown, what's another way of writing five fours? Please don't say one and one fourth. Go ahead and say one and one fourth if you really want to. That's what I said. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll go with that one then. So she said, I'm going to write one and one fourth. That's weird, still. You're, you're weird. Okay. What are you going to do? Talk amongst your people that you don't like, okay? I'll give you about 15 seconds. Would you say Howard? Yeah. Yeah. That's something he did say. <laughs> Time is up! <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? What should we do when this comes for you? Tucker comes up from Parker knows. Parker knows. Okay, Parker. It's kind of just going to have to go up there and write it. You just have to go up there and write it. Go ahead. It's not me. Go do your thing, Parker. Let's get you on video doing it. You want to film him walking up too, please? It's not even right. Oh, way to be Mr. Negativity. <laughs> no, like, no, you know what? I'm more confident than you. I'm 100% sure that this is not right. <laughs> but then why are you coming up here? <laughs> See, you you want stop being a wuss. Figure it out. What the crap? What did you do? Hey, nothing. He didn't do a thing. Go right in. Go right in. You're gonna live your whole life scared? I'm a little. <laughs> I'm upset now. Parker, what the, what the heck? That was a waste of 15 seconds of film. I know. I'm sorry. What do you get? What do you get? Talk to me. I didn't, I didn't understand it. <laughs> What's one plus one fourth? Yeah. What if I had x to the third times x to the second? What would I do with those two? It would be those two added together. So really, I could do that, can't I? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Why would you do that? Well, I'll show you. You can write it as this. What's another way of writing one and one fourth? Do you agree that four fours and one fourth add up to five fours? So could I do this also? Well, that gives me x. This gives me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is 100% correct. I hate it written that way. It just looks weird to me. What's another way of writing it? Can I write x to the first any differently? How do I write x to the one fourth? Uh, power over woot. Power over woot. You guys look like twins with your arms crossed like that. That's kind of weird. Nice, nice work. Those 
those are exactly the same. I prefer, me personally, obviously if you write that, you're right. I prefer this. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's just weird for me. What are we going to do here? We got all these weird radicals. What the fact are you going to do? When in doubt, write them as fractional exponents. What's this going to be? X to the 5 over 4, power over root, times X to the 3. What did we say we did with the exponents? If your multiplying base numbers are the same, my good friend, Adam, can I add 5 fourths and 3 fourths? Can you be like the people last hour that told me that was 8 eighths? <laughs> 16 and 17 year olds tell me that's 8 8. Is that Paige? <laughs> no. That was Paige. Definitely Paige. 8 what? So that would simplify to x squared. Good. Bueno. Awesome. Please do H. Real quick, I'll give you 35 seconds. Give it a shot. Ready, go. Keep going. We can always fast forward. I just That's who's videoing today. If you put your hand up, that looks weird. Just come around and check everybody out. Hey, you can send this at 12 minutes and one second into it. That's you. Send it to Italy. How? Oh, wow, Howard. That's amazing. What's that? Blood. Flood? Blood. Blood? Oh, it does say blood. I can see it. That's really... Somebody's going to come after you for making that symbol. <laughs> But I'm guessing if they're involved in that activity, they're probably not checking out the blog. <laughs> T, you want to say hi to everybody in Vietnam? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. What a great group, huh, Will? See? Woo! All right, time's up. Okay. When in doubt, write them as fractional oh. exponents. Um, x to the yeah, one fourth times two x to the. Yeah. Now, can I add those two exponents yeah. yet? Yeah. Not yet. We gotta get them to have a okay. common denominator. I guess it's gonna be twelve for both. Uh, that would be three and eight, so a grand total of eleven twelfths. Now you can write it that way. What's the other way you can write it? What's the other way? Christensen will give you a, another shot at showing how great you are. The, no, yeah, 12th root of x um, to the 11th power. See, yeah. Paige, how you like him now? <laughs> Bree Woods, how you like him now? <laughs> oh, sorry, Howard. Eight over eight. <laughs> He's still Just Paige, dude. <laughs> That's just normal. Really much from her. <laughs> she was a clinic today in class. She was really good. Hi. Paige is never good in class. Yes, she was. You lied. Can't say never anymore. What are we going to do here? Power to the power. So, x to the six. That would be three times eight over four. Half of eight, grand total, x to the? Perfect. Ah. You got a question? I didn't think so, but I thought I'd just check.
Perfection. We all know what perfection is. Why do we know it? We all have mirrors at home. I know. I know, Lawrence. I know. You don't have to tell me. I have a like an eight-foot mirror in our house. You know why? Duh. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a blast in our past. Perfection. We're looking for perfection. We are looking for perfection. We are looking. Is eight a perfect square, yes or no? Can we create, or is there a perfect square that divides into eight? Yeah. So I can break this up into four and two. Everybody agree? Why four? Because it's perfect. And what would I do with this x to the fifth? Break it up to x to the what? I heard it, but why? Perfect square. It's an even exponent. What about the y to the third? Y squared and y. And then I got that lone z. Now, ladies and gentlemen, perfection. I, I love perfection. It's awesome. Got to show it off. Perfect. <clears throat> yeah, boy. What? I'm confused. How does x to the fourth times x to the first? How's that five? Add them. Add them. Add them. Add them. Add them. My good one. Oh, it's right there. Never mind. See? I figured it out. <laughs> What? <laughs> Show it off. You are not perfect. You stay inside. Perfect? What is it? X squared. Yeah, boy. Perfect? You stay. Perfect? Show it off. Perfect? No. You stay. No. You stay. Done. Same concept for L, only instead of perfect squares, we're looking for perfect. <laughs> what are we looking for? Force. Fourth root. Is 16 perfect, yes or no? <laughs> what do I do with this? Can I make x squared perfect? Can I break it up? How do I know if it's perfect, exponent-wise? It's divisible by itself. Divisible by, more specifically, the root. In this case, 4. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing I can do? How about this? What can I break up y to the 13th into? Good. You guys are doing great. Keep thinking. <laughs> Try to think out loud a little bit. That'd be awesome. McCoy, I'll talk to you. Oops, I just spit all over Dan. Apologize. <laughs> what would I break up y into? Twelve and one. Yeah. yeah. Why twelve? Because it's divisible or by the root or whatever. It can be yeah. divided by four. four. Absolutely. What about z? What I break that up into? Twelve and three. Twelve and three. Absolutely. Bang bang. Let's start showing it off. Yes? Show it off? Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect? Uh-uh, you stay. Hiding. Perfect? Y to the third. Stay? Z 
to the third stage. Too high. Shut. Heard it. He only get two tries. Each class. Anything. Where's the assignment? It is a book page. In fact, the next two days are book pages. We're done.